Robin and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be making some lemon decor. So the first thing I do is I grab this wooden tray that I got at Dollarama and this lemon cloth that I got at Dollar Tree last year. And I'm just measuring the inside of the tray where I want to cut the cloth because I'm going to be hot gluing it down to the bottom of the tray. Once I decide where I would like to cut it, I take out my marker and I just make a line on either side just so I know where to cut because my cutting is not that great. So I do need a line to follow. So I'm just making sure that everything is straight and good before I cut the other piece out. Now I'm going to add my hot glue just to the edge of the piece and then push it down very carefully so I don't burn myself. I just flipped it over and then I pressed it down. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'm putting the glue on and then slowly pushing it down and pressing on it. And there it is. Second DIY, I had these placemats that I got at Dollar Tree last year. And I decided that I was going to separate them. So I separated the top from the bottom and how I did that, I took a screwdriver and I put it in some of the threads on the back side of the placemat just to get rid of the threads. Now you could use a um, thread seam splitter but I didn't have one of those, so I just used this tiny screwdriver. And once I got it going, then I grabbed my scissors and I used that to cut out the rest of the threads. Here I am cutting the threads out. And you just want to be careful that you don't cut any fabric. You're only cutting at the threads. You just cut the threads and then you pull, cut and pull, and eventually all the threads come out. Once I've got the two pieces apart, there are some rogue threads that need to be taken off. So you do want to make sure to get all those off of your two pieces of fabric. The next thing I did was went and got a pillowcase because that's what I plan on doing with these. I'm going to be putting them on top of a pillowcase. Now I could have made a pillowcase with them, but I wanted to use a pre-existing pillowcase that I had and then just glue the placemats on top because I wanted to keep the pillowcase feeling on one side of the pillow in case I wanted to actually use the pillow because I felt like the placemats were more of a plasticky feeling. So the placemat side would be for decoration only. So here I am just deciding 
how I want the placemats to go. And once I do that, I take the hot glue, put it on, and then put down the placemat onto the pillowcase. If you're wondering what that beeping is, my husband's playing a game on TV. pretty easy to do just glue and place and I just wanted to make sure you know there was no threads hanging and that the pillowcase was taut underneath where I was putting the placemat And I just wanted to say that I bought this glue gun at Dollarama and I absolutely love it. It was $4. Works great. And I haven't burnt myself yet. Knock on wood. So here I'm just lining up the other placemat where I want it to go. Unfortunately, the pattern on these placemats doesn't matter if you put it one way or the other. They don't match up. So I just did what I thought looked best. And I think it turned out pretty good. So here I am on pillowcase number two, and I've just taken the yellow backing of the placemat, and I'm putting it on, and I'm doing the exact same thing as I did before. I'm just hot gluing the back right to the pillowcase, so I can use the pillowcase. Just making sure everything's clean before I add some more glue. Now I'm putting on the second placemat. And I just decide where I want it and then I put some hot glue. There's a few stray threads there so I was just picking them out. I just want to make sure that the two placemats are glued fairly close together. So that they touch. And we can't see in between them. And here are the two pillows on my couch with my lemon blanket. I think they look pretty good. My next project is going to be a sign. So I'm taking this garden sign that I got at Dollar Tree and some boxes that I got at Christmas time at Dollar Tree. I'm just opening the Christmas boxes 
up, you get two boxes inside, but there's two lids and two bottoms. So I took one of the bottoms, and then I took the sign. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue the sign to the box bottom to give it some sturdiness to it. So I'm just hot gluing at the bottom here. I was going to flip that over, but I decided just to go with at the bottom. And I accidentally glued the table. So I had to take the glue off the table. But I did get it how I wanted it. And then I just took the glue gun and I glued the top. And then I just stretched over the top to where the glue was. And it had a bit of a wrinkle in it, so I decided to glue it a bit more just to make it a little taut. I really liked how it turned out, but I wanted it to stand up. So I went and looked in my stash and sure enough, I found a sign from Valentine that I could use. And I glued that to the back to give it a stand. I did apply more hot glue at the top as well of the stand. You can't see me doing it, but that's what I'm doing right here. And then I let it dry. So I took the tray that I made and some soap that I got at Giant Tiger. I took this vase that I got at Dollarama, some tulips that I previously bought on Amazon, a mug that I bought last year at Dollar Tree. I also had some greenery on hand and I made myself a little display. I decided to make a little display on my shelf. Well, that's it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you enjoy making some of these easy lemon decor ideas, stick around. I might have more in store for you. Thanks for watching. Bye. Check my channel very soon for Hall's DIYs try-ons in my room.